Hello everyone, so you probably know we've been putting videos out for a while now but we realised we haven't done a van tour yet, a proper van tour that talks about why we packed the certain things we do, why we went for this van and all that uh, van life entails when we're using the van. We're very excited today um, because we've spent the day uh, packing up the van ready to go to Spain tomorrow, woohoo! So yeah, we're really excited. We're thankful under the uh, current circumstances that we're actually able to go. We know that there's been loads of people that have had uh, terrible situations mm. and not, um, you know, not been able to, to have their trips this year. So we're really, really thankful and yeah. really excited. And we thought it might be helpful for anyone else that is heading out in their van this summer if we um, shared with you what we've packed and where we've put it. So first off, we are both double jabbed, so we can go. We don't have to isolate when we get home yeah. at the moment anyway. Obviously, we went down to Whitsy last year in the van during COVID and it's a godsend being able to self-isolate in it and yeah. just being able to, you know, stay away from people if you really want yeah, to. So got... we're going to be safe and we're going to do things properly. Yeah, your own hand washing facilities, your own toilet, and we've even got our own outdoor shower, which um, we have showed in a previous video, which we can link. Uh, but uh, we'll also maybe just show you uh, quickly again just now. So... Our van is a Volkswagen T6, it's the 2016 model, it's the 2 litre engine, 140 horsepower, it's automatic which is something I definitely wanted and it's the long wheelbase. Mm. So we use our van for work as well as going on trips as well, so having the automatic really really helps because we have to drive into London a lot, carry all our gear with us and everything and London traffic in a van, in a manual. Yeah. I have did it before when I used to work for DHL and it's not fun, so uh, and yeah. And the long wheelbase was an absolute must. You know, family of four, we already knew we were pushing it to, to go for this this kind of van and uh, we just, we had to have that extra space and we're so thankful that It is it. really surprising, isn't it? Yeah. How much that extra foot, and it is only 30 centimetres, but it makes a Huge big difference. difference. Yeah. When we first started looking at vans, we, we got into a, a, a normal wheelbase and we just thought, man, this ain't gonna work. Yeah. And then uh, thankfully it's... we saw the long wheelbase and it was uh, the right one. Yeah. So we have the also have this the T32 edition, so it can carry 3.2 tons. Uh, again, because we use it for work, it's good to have that extra weight limit, and also good because we carry a lot of bikes and out on the back, and we have a trailer which we tow sometimes. Right, so I'm Without gonna hand ado. I'm gonna hand over to Karina now. And she's gonna give you a quick tour of the inside. Yay. Okay, so first off, you can see we've got our uh, high fold uh, seats ready to go for the kids. Um, so they are in position. We did a video on those uh, previously, so feel free to check that out if you like. And then I'll uh, just talk to you guys a little bit about this main shelf here. This is brilliant. We stack so much into this. So we've got games, we've got tea light holders, citronella candles, tea, all of our mugs on here, our spices, coffee, the girls' hair things, they're all there. Um, and then we've also got a few more games up here. So we've got Guess Who and Twister and a, like a little plastic wallet. And then there's a collapsible wash basin. And then over here, we've got uh, a couple of things in this little nook. So we've got the bag that houses all of our electrical cables. And I don't know if you can see, but I've also stuffed that full of washcloths. So the girls always get absolutely filthy whenever we're on campsites. You know, their hands and faces just, they come back and they're just in a mess. So uh, it's great to just have loads of extra washcloths to be able to sort that out. And I find that's a really handy place to keep them. Uh, we've also got another wash basin here, a uh, collapsible colander and our heat mat. And then we use these for hand towels, basically for just washing. Uh, so in our drop down, it's not fully packed just yet, but basically we've got towels and um, all of our toiletries will go in there. And then just coming down here, so we've got uh, in here, we've got all of our cooking stuff up here. So pots and pans, all that kind of thing. And just a few Tupperware pots in there. And then all of our dry food, store cupboard food is all kept in this bottom space. It's a really nice deep cupboard. It's a little bit of a faff to get things out, which is why we keep them in the shopping bags, just because it's easier to kind of haul the shopping bags out and then find what you need and then pop them back in rather than raking through individual items um and then behind me um again i've done a, a thing on this before a video on this before um but we have our medicine cabinet basically so it's fully loaded right now as you can see so we've got literally everything a family could want uh on a holiday in here so all your essentials your cowpaw ibuprofen paracetamol all your bug sprays uh sun cream after sun everything is in there so down here you'll see that we've got um, this mat and this plank of wood, an odd thing you, you might think to pack. So there's reasons for this. So this is our um, like awning carpet essentially. So it would just go on the floor uh, at the entrance to the van. 
um, the piece of wood is actually just to give us extra peace of mind. So we'll wedge that in the front of the pop top just to make sure that we're super confident that everything's okay for the girls being up there because obviously we've got the roof box on which has got some weight in it. So that just gives us that extra peace of mind. And then down here, We've got our kettle, which um, is in there with some chopping boards and some graters and things like that. And then in here, we've got just some more, uh, some all of our kind of plates and cups and things like that. And then down the bottom, just like cleaning supplies and essential things. And then um, the cutlery drawer, obviously in here. So we've got all of our cutlery, everything you need in there. We've also got these little things from Ikea. These are brilliant. So instead of oven gloves, we use these little guys. They're fab. Um, we've also got some uh, matches in there. Sorry, I was just losing the thought there. And our cutting board goes on top. Obviously our fridge is full of our fridge things. The seat backs for the girls. So obviously we've done a video on these uh, before as well, but we've made some small upgrades uh, for this trip, uh, predominantly in the form of these guys, these A4 wallets. Um, I don't know if you call them wallets, I don't know, pencil cases, whatever. Um, one of the things that we found over time is just really infuriating to be honest is the girls obviously insist on bringing all of their bits and bobs but they just get everywhere and they drop them and they you know they they color and they draw when we're in transit and then they drop them and then we arrive and we have to kind of go around and pick everything up it's a nightmare so i'm hoping that these might help with that because they're full on like literally they have everything in there all the pens everything in there so they can take them out as one piece do what they want to do. Hopefully they'll put everything back in, do up the zip, and then it's just one thing to kind of put away. That's the theory. We'll see if it works. Um, but we've all, you know, they've got some snacks in here. There's, you know, um, even gets a little bit travel sick lessons. So we've got some anti-sickness bands in there. Uh, these, these are great. They really think these, they, they, they love having those. Um, they help even particularly the queasy mix. Um, so yeah, so that is that. Obviously this isn't packing related particularly, but it is part of the van tour. Couldn't uh, not show it. So this is our cooker. Uh, so we just have a two, a two uh, hob, a two gas hob burner on there. And then on this side is our sink with all of our sink bits ready to go. And again, we've showed this before, but these are just little Ikea bins that we just stack up on here. And then we can just, you know, put in the things that we need for kind of hand washing and washing up. And it's, you know, happy days basically. And it just all comes down again really easily. Just slot them back in. Okay, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the electrics we have in the van. So we have a sergeant unit, You've got the on off button here. You've got your leisure battery and your vehicle battery monitoring. We're currently charging the van at the moment, ready for when we go away. You've got your uh, water power there, and then you've got a light there, which you can see. We've also got two uh, USB connections, a 12 volt connection, and two UK plug connections there. So we can pretty much charge iPads, Macs, whatever you like. We can even put a couple of big fans in there if we wanted to. So uh, really, really good electricals. We've got a nice little light here as well, as well as a strip light above the door here. Here's our toilet. This is the uh, porta potty Fetford. We've done a whole video on that. That was fun to make, but uh, it's a very good bit of kit. It's coming out of the van now. Let's walk around the back of the van. No, actually, you know what? First, we'll do our skyline roof. I've got it open in what they call scenic mode. So you can see it fully opens. Just like this, you can see me through here. And on top, I don't know if you can see that, Karina, we've got our roof box on at the moment. Uh, no, you can't see it, but you can see the bars. Okay, I've done a whole video on the roof box. We've got the uh, the roof rails we have as well are really, really good because they're uh, streamlined, so they don't add any extra height. So it means you can keep them on even when you're not using the roof box and you can still get in the really low car parks in London, which is really good. This bad boy here is our Thule or fuel or however you pronounce it uh run out awning and this we got this in 2020 and it was amazing it's great for when you're traveling in europe if you don't want to take the massive rock you know blow out awning and everything this is really really useful and uh yeah it just gives you that bit of shade which is really really nice in the hot weather so i'm going to talk to you now about the storage underneath our front bench seat which is really good we have shoes shoes galore and we also have a kind of maintenance garage area with a few COVID tests in there as well. So we've got a warning triangle, our jacks and WD-40, bits and bobs for the van. This is really cool as well, I got this the other day. It's an emergency uh, puncture repair, which is quite good. Don't know if it works. Uh, so this is really good storage under here. You can get quite a lot in here. 
This is a swivel seat, but to be honest, we don't really use it because it's a bit of faff. All we do, we've got this seat fitted with a recliner and it also means that you can just uh, lower the seat as well. So we usually just lower this and hope that nothing falls out. So you can perch your bum on here and sit down and eat if you want to. And it's really quick. Another thing we had modified uh, after we got the van is the uh, dashboard. I got this from a company called Vanex and it just gives you a bit more security because uh, the Volkswagens come with just an opening up here like this one down here. I don't know if Karina can see that on, on the camera there. Uh, and if we open this up, it just gives you a bit more privacy. On the moment, all we've got is a load of face masks, anti-back wipes and gloves when we're filling up the van with petrol. But uh, it's quite good to store stuff. So you've almost got two glove boxes. You've got the one down here and you've got this one up here. So that's a really good uh, recommendation there to give you a bit more security in the van. Another thing Volkswagen vans don't have much of when you first buy them is front storage in the cockpit. So we got this bad boy here. I think Karina got it off Amazon or eBay or something, but it's just, we just Velcroed it to the floor. It's really sturdy, it never comes off, but it just means you can store loads of stuff. So again, hand sanitizer, tissues for the kids, vegan jerky, which is yummy. Anything you can get in there really. It's just really good, a couple of water bottles again, because there's not really much room for kind of having a water bottle in the front of the van as well. So having this bit here is really useful. This was a cheap fix. I think it was like, I don't know, 10, 20 pound. You can buy built-in ones, but they're hundreds. Uh, we did look at it, but we just went for this option and it's done as well so far. Now we're at the back of the van and we have talked about this before, but our, uh, our seat and bed is on rails, which is really, really good for the kids. It means they can be at the back when we're kind of stopped and just eating, or we can push them right to the front when we're in kind of transit mode, so to speak. Uh, there's a whole video on that, so we'll link that above for you. In the back here, what have we got? We've got some really cool little hooks we got from Ikea. These are doggy hooks, which are quite cool. If I take the camera, I can just show you. So this is where we store mine and Karina's clothing up here. And just in here is a whole compartment and there's room in there. So in there we store all our kind of spare food. So lots of tins, lots of beer, lots of wine, all the things that we need, but we don't need straight away. It just gives us, it just gives us a bit of extra storage really. In this cupboard here is more storage. So this is kind of like another store area. So we've got lots of little fans there. These are really good little fans. They just clip on. Again, Amazon to the rescue. They're battery powered. They last all night. Uh, they're just little desk fans. We've got four, so we've got one each because it does get quite hot in Spain. We've got our shower there. We've got our mosquito repellent stuff there. And again, up here, we've just got spare hand sanitizer and things. Here in the bottom one, this is where we kind of keep all our cables and things. So we've got our electric hookup in here. We've got our spare toilet mix. We've got our chucks for the front of the van and we've got a mallet so we can go down the awning if we need to. And this thing here, which is rattling, we got this a couple of weeks ago and it's a stove, it's an oven. You can actually cook cakes in this apparently, not that we've tried. We tried it with garlic bread and it worked really well, so maybe we'll try a cake sometimes, but don't really fancy making a cake in a van. Do you, Karina? Uh, not in Spain. <laughs> no, okay, so we'll give that a miss, but apparently you can do that. Check it out, it's called Omnia and it's a Swedish invention, so really, really good. The things I forgot to mention was the storage cupboard under the seat. So this is really good. Uh, this is where we keep all the kids' clothes. We've got an Ikea storage bag, which you just shove under there with the kids' clothes keeps them in there, keeps them clean, keeps them tidy, keeps them out of the way, and it's really easy to get to. The last thing I wanted to speak to you about is our travel trailer. We got this a couple of weeks ago and we used it for the first time in the Lake District and it worked really well. We can store all our bulky items in here. So at the moment, we've got all of our bedding in here. We've got our roll mats. We've also got our paddle boards in here as well. So we can take a lot of equipment, which is really good because it means that we don't have to store it in the van, which means we can set up at campsites a lot quicker. Up there we have our roof box and at the moment in there we have our bodyboards and our wetsuits and a few buckets and spades for the kids at the beach. 
Again, it just means that we can set up a lot quicker when we're at campsites and we can keep the bulky items out of the way. We don't put heavy items in there just because of the, the roof and it can only take up to, I think it's about 60 kilograms of weight. I've done a whole video on the roof box and the roof rails, so check it out in the link above. We hope this video has been useful, um, particularly for any of you that might be heading out in your vans this summer. Um, we're heading away for around about a month, so um, we have certainly crammed in <laughs> as much as we possibly can into the van so hopefully it gives you guys some ideas uh, some hints and tips on uh, what maybe to pack and uh, how to kind of maximize the space in your van for your trips this summer and uh, yeah that's about it from us yeah please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys again soon oh and keep watching because we'll do loads of stuff when we're in spain Definitely. lots of day trips uh, lots of stuff with the van maybe even some paddle boarding if we get any good at it so uh, like <laughs> yeah. and subscribe if we get any good at it if we get any good at it <laughs> like and subscribe and we'll see you guys again soon Take bye care.